Well, 10,000 bicyclists took over the streets of downtown Boise this morning to celebrate all things bikes and beer. It's one of the most anticipated events of the year in the Treasure Valley, of course, the Tour de Fat. Tammy Scardina was there today and joins us live in studio with more. For the past 13 years, the new Belgian Brewing Company has sponsored the traveling event and has included Boise on the tour. This morning's parade began and ended at Ann Morrison Park, where activities were planned throughout the day. I'm Wonder Woman and he's Superman. Encouraged to wear costumes, participants pedaled their way to Ann Morrison Park to meet new people and have a good time. It's all about uh, having fun. Superman and Wonder Woman met at the Tour de Fat two years ago. They're set to be married next month. Some might meet the love of their life at this event. Others use it as an excuse to spend time with family or to get the girls together. I love how high energy it is always. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love that you can bring your family here and bike crazy yeah. and you get to dress up. It was a sea of costumes and bikes and the line kept coming with everything from suits to angels with wings. There were plenty of people stationed on the sidelines as well. Some view the event as another opportunity to dress up in addition to Halloween, while others see it as a progressive movement toward bikers and motorists learning how to share the roadways. Boise's trying to become more bicycle friendly and I think it's cool that they have this thing where people can drink and they're saying, all right, be safe about it and ride a bicycle. Now this year's goal was to raise over $60,000 at the event. The profits go to three different nonprofits, the Boise Cycle Project, the Treasure Valley Cycling Alliance, and the Southwest Idaho Mountain Biking Association.